Hello, my dear students, grade nine. Hope you all are doing great. So tell me something. Have you ever been in a situation where you have to play a trick on someone to save yourself? Well, that requires a lot of presence of mind and intelligence, especially when the, when the person turns out to be more smarter than you thought. You must be wondering why I'm telling you this. That's because this is the theme of the play which we will be reading today, If I Were You by Douglas James. If I Were You by Douglas James is an interesting play that has mystery, suspense, surprise, and humor. It is a story in which an intruder Intense, intends to kill Gerard and impersonate him to escape the law, but the tables are turned on him as he is trapped due to Gerard's presence of mind. Intruder means a person who intrudes especially into a building with criminal intentions. Intense here is to plan, and impersonate here means imitate. The play thus brings out that intelligence and presence of mind can help us come out of the trickiest of the situations. Now here we'll read about the characters. Vincent Charles Gerard, a playwright by profession who has a great presence of mind. A playwright means a person who writes plays and, and a dramatist. He was successful in tra trapping the intruder. Not only he saves himself, but also gets a cunning intruder arrested by the police. Intruder. The intruder is a criminal who specializes in stealing jewelry. He intrudes into the cottage of Gerard to kill him and to take on his identity. The theme of the play emphasizes the significance of intelligence, the presence of mind, and a cool head in situations of crisis. Panic complicates matters, but cool temperament can help one wriggle out of the tight corners with ease. Criminals who mastermind most deceitful crimes can also be outwitted because they have a fear of getting detected and caught by the law. Hence, a tactful planning and handling of a situation can trap even the so-called smart criminals. This is a small cottage in Essex. This is an image to have an idea how the cottage looks like. Essex is a country in Eastern England with its own local government. Here there's two image, one is of Gerard and the other one is of young intruder. Gerard, a young man is packing. Suddenly a man enters who resembles, resembles here, look like, who resembles him. He is holding a revolver in his hand. Let us find out what he wants from Gerard. The scene is a small cottage interior. There is an entrance back right, which may be curtained. Another door to the left must be a practical door. Practical door means which is in daily use. The furniture is simple, consisting of a small table towards the left, a chair or two, and a divan rather upstage on the right. On the table is a telephone. Divan over here is a small narrow cot. Upstage means on the side of the stage. When the curtain rises, Gerard is standing with the table phoning. He is of medium height and wears horn rimmed glasses. He is dressed in a long suit. His voice is culture. Long suit here stands for a man suit consisting of a matching jacket and the trousers worn during the day, especially in the workplace in a great coat. Voice is culture means well-educated and a civilized person. Gerard, well, Tell him to phone up directly. I must know. Yes, I expect I'll still be here. But you mustn't count on that. In about 10 minutes time, write home. Goodbye. You mustn't count means you must not depend on. He puts on the phone and goes to the divan on the left, where there is a traveling bag and starts packing. While he is engaged, another man similar in a bill to Gerard enters from the right silently holding a revolver in his hand. He is flashily dressed in an overcoat and a soft hat. He bumps accidentally 
against the table and at the sound gerard turns quickly gerard pleasantly why this is a surprise mr intruder i'm glad you're pleased to see me i don't think you'll please for long put those paws up intruder says that he is happy to see him and he will not remain happy for long if he comes to know what are his intentions and has jara to raise his hands up put put those paws up means raise both the hands up jara this is all very melodramatic not very original perhaps but melodramatic here stands for over dramatic intruder trying to be calm and er uh, er uh, He says that Gerard is trying to be composed, but he finds short of words to complete his sentence. Gerard, nonchalant is your word, I think. Nonchalant meaning relaxed or calm. Intruder, thanks a lot. You'll soon stop being smart. I'll make you crawl. I want to know a few things. See, the intruder thanks Gerard for completing the sentence and says that soon he will stop acting smart. he adds that he will torture him and make him crawl gerard anything you like i know all the answers but before we begin i should like to change my position you may be comfortable but i am not intruder sit down there and no funny business now then we'll have a nice little talk about yourself the intruder command gerard to sit on the chair and he sits on the divan he wants to talk about the Two of them, Gerard. At last, a sympathetic audience. I'll tell you the story of my life. How, as a child, I was stolen by the gypsies, and why, at the age of thirty-two, I find myself in my lonely Essex cottage. How? He says that finally he has a person who's so concerned about him and wants to know about his past. He adds that he would tell him about his life. how as a child he was stolen by a group of nomads gypsy stands for nomads and why at the age of 32 years was he living all alone at the small cottage in essex by saying this he developed an air of suspense around him intruder keep it to yourself and just answer my questions you live here alone well do you gerard i'm sorry i thought you were telling me not asking me a question of inflection your voice is unfamiliar a question of inflection here means change in tone of the voice gerard says that the way in which the intruder spoke made him feel that he was telling him that he lived all alone rather than asking him if he did live alone he added that the intruder's voice not familiar to imply that he wanted to know about him intruder with emphasis with emphasis means to give a special importance do you live here alone And if you don't answer, Gerard said, "Intruder, you have got enough sense not to want to get hurt." Gerard said, "I think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in mere desire to do so." What do you think, Mister? Now Gerard spoke intelligently and replied, "That is good sense reflected in his ability to avoid pain than the mere desire to avoid it." He asked the intruder about his opinion and addressed him as Mister to indicate that he wanted to know his name. Intruder, never mind my name. I like yours better, Mister Gerard. What are your Christian names? Gerard said, Vincent Charles. Intruder, do you run a car? Gerard answered negatively, No. Intruder, that's a lie. You're not dealing with a fool. I'm as smart as you are, and smarter, and I know you run a car. Better be careful, wise guy. The intruder said that Gerard was lying. He said that he was not foolish. He was smarter than him, and knew that he had a car. He warned Gerard not to be fool him. Gerard, are you American, or is that merely a clever imitation? Intruder, listen, this gun's no toy. I can hurt you without killing you. And still get my answers. The intruder got angry and said that his gun was not a toy. He could harm Gerard and still would get a reply to his questions. Gerard, of course. If you put it like that, I'll be glad to assist you. 
I do possess a car and it's in the garage around the corner. That's better, Intura said. Do people often come out here? Gerard, very rarely, surprisingly, few people take the trouble to visit my place. There's a baker and a green grocer, of course, and then there's a milkman, quite charming, but no one so interesting as yourself. Gerard replied that he rarely had any visitors. He added that very few people underwent the trouble of visiting him. Other than the baker, the green grocer and the milkman, no one else bothered to visit him. Intruder, I happen to know that you never see tradespeople. Tradespeople here means stands for merchants. You seem to have taken a considerable amount of trouble, Gerard said. Since you know so much about me, won't you say something about yourself? You have been so modest. Intruder, I could tell you plenty. You think you're smart? But I'm the top of the class round right here. I've got brains and I use them. That's why I've got where I have. The intruder said that he had, he had a lot to talk about himself. In case Gerard thought himself to be smart, he was smarter than Gerard. He had brains and used it intelligence to achieve things. Gerard, and where precisely have you got? It didn't require a great brain to, brain to break into my little cottage. Intruder, when you know why I have broken into your little cottage, you'll be surprised and it won't be a pleasant surprise. Gerard, with your figuring so largely in it, that is understandable. By the way, what particular line of crime do you embrace or aren't you a specialist? Embrace means accept. Gerard replied that by seeing the intruder's behavior, he knew that his reason for entering his house would be shocking. Then he inquired about the crime that the intruder specialized in. Intruder, my speciality is jewel robbery. Your car will do me a treat. It is certainly a dandy bus. Dandy stands for stylish and fashionable. The intruder replied that he specialized in jewel robbery. He added that Gerard's car, car would be a gift for him because it was very stylish. Gerard, I'm afraid jewels are few and far between in the wilds of Essex. Intruder, so are the cops. I can retire here nicely for a little while. He added that just like jewels, cops were also so scarce in Essex and so he could live there peacefully. Gerard, you mean to live with me? A trifle sudden, isn't it? You haven't been invited. A trifle means little value. Gerard asked if the intruder wanted to live with him. He commented that the decision was sudden and that he had not invited the intruder to live with him. Intruder, you won't be here long, so I didn't trouble to ask. Gerard, what do you mean? Intruder, this is your big surprise. I am going to kill you. He replied that the surprise was that he intended to kill Gerard. Gerard, a little harsh that sounds, isn't it? Intruder, with heavy sarcasm. Yeah, I'll be sorry to do it. I've taken a fancy to you, but it's just got to be done. 